So we just showed up on location for our cottage core shoot and I'm dying, this place is so cute. It was a journey to get here. We had to like, I don't know, we had to like hike from all the way up there down to here, but I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the location. I cannot get over how perfect it is for this collection. So this is the little cabin. We're in Kelowna, British Columbia right now. And this, it is like after dinner time, so it's not the brightest out, but a little patio here. We get our own dock there. And then there's another dock over here. The cutest little lounge stuff there. We have this. And then these French doors. And this is the cabin. It's really tiny, but it's really cute. Um, don't mind our stuff that we've already started offloading in here. This is my <laughs> sister and brother-in-law. And this is my nephew. Big Cove fan. Yeah, he loves a good Cove club. <laughs> and then, so basically, you walk in, you turn to the right, there's this little fireplace. Then over here, the bathroom, which is so cute. Even just like the finishes, everything. Can't get over the shower and bathtub situation. It's so cute. You walk back over, a little chair, a little dresser, even just the windows, the way they open, honestly perfect. This little door, I don't think it can be used, but it's cute. And then the kitchen, and honestly, everything in it is so perfect for what we needed. Even just like all the dishware, the French press, everything. I can't get over the sink. Even the drying rack, honestly. This little pitcher, more windows. Once you guys see the final imagery we're shooting tomorrow, um, you'll totally understand why this is so perfect for what we needed. And just like, I feel like there's so many shot opportunities. And yeah, so it's like a quick little tour. I'll show you guys outside at sunset. It's so, so nice. So the shoot doesn't start until 11 tomorrow, so I have some time, but I have everything laid out. This is um, the blue color. I'm not entirely sure the name yet. It's either gonna be Dusk or Shore, I think. It's just like a semi-transparent blue. And then this is gonna be Sand. It's kind of like our birch color, but a little bit more um, depth to it. A little bit more creamy. And then I wanted to name this Basil. These do not look like anything like the true, col the true colors on camera. But I feel like if I have them out in the sunlight tomorrow, they will look like their true colors. And then obviously they're coming in all sizes of the daily and then all sizes of the soul. And then if you're a real one, you remember our Pacific collection. Last summer we had avocado and coast luxe scrunchies. These are our 100% pure silk scrunchies. They're coming back in singles and then you can also get um, the bundle packs. And then this is new product for us. It's a ball cap, so you can get it in the blue and cream colorway with the branding on the back there. Or same thing in green, branding on the back there. And then there's also these two solid color ones with no branding on the back. And I think they're going to sell really fast because everyone I've shown them to is like super excited about them. And then we have some props, so I just have this. I got this from Valley Village. Got this from Goodwill, I think. Also Goodwill, um, Valley Village. The colors look like really bold. Like that is not that blue in person, but there's a matching bowl, which is really cute. And then I got this at Crate and Barrel. I just brought that from home. This came with the space and I think it's so cute. And then I have all the styling here, which I might walk everyone through tomorrow. These are all pants and like shorts that I have. And then these are all shirts and over tops there. And then the other thing we have is this tote bag for the collection, which I think is just so cute. I don't know if I should call the collection out of office or cottage core. I'm feeling like out of office because that's like branded throughout our items, but I'm not entirely sure. So that's a quick update and I'm really excited for the shoot tomorrow. We just got our Starbucks and the model is flying in from Vancouver. So she's gonna be landing in like 30 minutes 
I'm gonna get her to take a cab to the cabin, but I want to stop and get some snacks for um, the model and photographer first. We also want to get there before she does, so we're just running some errands now, and then we'll be shooting soon. completely forgot to finish filming after the shoot and I don't think I filmed much like during the shoot either. Um, it went really really well. We used like just exactly how much time we had. I find sometimes my shoots will end like a little bit early because you can only do so much with clips but um, the photographer was great. She was like super creative, had a lot of ideas. The model was great too. Um, <laughs> can you not? You're gonna get me copyrighted. So yeah, the shoot went great. I'll give you guys a couple of little behind the scenes clips. Jesse, stop singing. Oh, that's you, <laughs> I'll give you guys a few behind the scenes clips on my phone real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll fast through them, but these are just for my phone. And like, if the phone pics are good, you know that the finals are gonna be great. The photographer shot mostly on film. There were some digitals, but mostly on film. So we just have to wait one to two weeks for them to get developed, but. There's so much behind the scenes. Coming. So yeah, oh, and then we got these little, just what were they called? The animals on the road? Goats? Elks? Rams. Rams. Dodge Rams. These Rams on the way home, they were so cute. Um, oh, I can't say Dodge Ram. Copyright. Now we're having <laughs> Diet Cokes on the porch at, what time is it? <laughs> it's like 10 a.m. This is our second Diet Coke today. Yeah. <laughs> we're addicted. Well, it's two minis, so that counts as one. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, subscribe if you want to see more. So. <laughs> okay, bye.